what's happening y'all? Elton here. I'm in the Hampstead borough of Montreal. Oh, that's a good way to start. Good looking older Ford there. Yeah, man. F Ford F350. This looks like a public works building, I think. Probably for the town of Hampstead, I guess. Let's see what that sign says over there. Uh, we're... What? It's a school. Huh. How do you like that? Oh, look at that. Scrap. Starting the scrap, win or finishing the 166 route. Anyway, I don't want to focus on that fucking garbage. So there you got quite a few of these uh, semi-detached homes here uh, on this street, like in other parts of the city, like La Salle, like St. Leonard, and so forth and so forth. Now, I love details. They look at even the, the old railings are nice, have nice details to them. So this is once again, as I often do, uh, just a random uh, walk there. Hey, I know one of you guys has one of these. A 98, you know who you are. Kind of fitting too with the, hey, look, good old non-scrap behind there. Right on. Old GMC S15 there, Jimmy. Right on. Anyway, moving it along here. So anyway, I... Uh, came out here because uh, also uh, there's a ex-friend of mine that's been living out here for a while and he did film some old cars around here and it's probably not the best day for doing that but uh, hey you never know man I mean uh, were there garages there are oldies being kept as I found out yesterday went with that surprising 68 uh, Pontiac Grand Parisien I saw in a Hunsick well the only reason why that car was outside and all dirty is because the owner is driving it to go to work because uh, I don't know something about his his other car wasn't an accident so look at that see why I love details look at beautiful details the railings the uh, landscape uh, the the door you know the old stuff is the best stuff the old shit is the best shit and the modern stuff well the more modern it is for me generally the more I don't care the more I'm not interested not the nicest of days but Still plenty of leaves on the trees, even though it's fall now. So, uh, we're October 2nd, 2018. And, uh, ooh, a lot of paint chip in there, eh? No, look at that, how weird that is. It's like, been revamped. Even those bricks on, you can tell so a lot of them are all new. Or was added on. Anyway, whatever. I don't really care. I don't care. So, yeah. Whoa, look at that. That's weird, eh? Yeah. Yeah, you don't see the, you know, homes old like this, you know, like these, most of these homes are built, what, 50s, 60s, and you don't see kind of stuff like that, these modern glass or window panes, whatever, uh, for a balcony, eh? So, uh, yeah. Oh, but me, I'm tired as usual, and this uh, dull, dark weather is not helping how I feel, that's for sure. But hopefully it's going to pass there. I don't know. Maybe it's this hypothyroid problem. I don't know. I'm waiting for my doctor's office to call me to set up an appointment there since I took a uh, blood test for him there as he had requested. I don't know. We'll see. On verra, as we say in French. Mm-hmm. And that noise in the background, I don't know if my microphone is picking it up, but that's uh, Highway de Carry. You can hear it which is over there where I'm pointing a couple of streets over or I should say a couple of blocks over and you know me, uh, whoa, that's weird you know me, I uh, actually back in 99-2000 uh, I used to do house cleaning for seniors and I had customers all in this area in Hampstead or next to here, Côte St. Luke kind of brings back a bit of memories, you know I remember some old cars I used to see around here specifically there was a 74 Cadillac Fleetwood parked in one of them sloping driveways with a garage door uh, there was a 79 Lincoln uh, Continental. Oh my God, it was mint, navy blue. Uh, there was an out. There was a really nice. Uh, well, really nice. I mean, nice for what it is, but it needed to be restored. It was a 56 gray Cadillac Sedan DeVille. I even had a picture of it for years, and then I sold it. Interestingly enough, that car was uh, was uh, rescued and restored there. You know. I don't know if it was repainted, but it was really nice. Not in perfect condition, driver condition, but still really amazing. And it was just parked next to one of these types of houses there. Just sitting there almost rotting, you know? Okay, that's fucking weird. <laughs> What's the point of that? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so we're not gonna walk too much here. I'm gonna film another block. Well, you know, it's gotten cold when you can see your breath. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fall is upon us. And I was thinking this morning about how, you know, I had a good summer and all that. I mean, I filmed some great stuff, saw some cool things, but uh, frankly, uh, apart from the shitty construction on my street that started in July, I mean, uh, oh, good old nuns, oh, quasi scrap actually. Anyway, um, what was I talking about? Yeah, so, but the thing is that we had this fucking heat wave, this murder it was horrible. This beamer, a little rusty. This fucking heat wave, man. I mean, seriously, it was so hot. Like, it was like. I don't know, like 30, 35, 38, 40 and more degrees Celsius with the humidity and, and it's just it was just too hot to even go out and walk around and go film stuff. I mean I just like stayed home and in the air conditioning. Yeah. It was heavy duty, brother and sisters. Let me tell you, uh, it's basically the opposite of when it's like here it gets down to like you get a cold spell and uh, gets to like fucking minus uh, Minus 20 or colder there. That's really intense cold. Uh, my, and when I, I mean when I mean you know minus 20 degrees and all that, I mean Celsius. I don't mean Fahrenheit. Eh? Don't get confused there. Oh wow, well, that's kind of different there. Eh? Yeah, there's uh, on some of the other streets though. These some of the other streets, the houses are like million dollars each, maybe million dollar homes. I don't know about some of these ones here. I don't think so. Uh, but still, because of where their location is, they're not going to be cheap. You know, if uh, somebody's looking to buy a, a home here, hmm, like that color, hate the car. Typical micro car, a eh? micro compact, colorful car as usual. Because I, I've been saying it for a while, I realized this uh, months ago, is that, you know, these micro cars, these like Fiat 500s and these types of jobs is that, holy macro. You know, the thing is that, are they really going to sell as well if they're not colorful, like different colors, bright blue, pink, red, whatever, because they're so boring, they're so cheap, such cheap fucking cars, you know? Mm-hmm. And then on the other end of the scale, the more luxurious a car is, it seems, the more it's colorless. See what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I'll probably pick this up off somewhere in the future there, in the near future. I don't know when or where or... Like I said, I'm going to wrap this up at this light here. I think coming up here is uh, uh, Van Horn Street, which is really busy. And me, I'm tired, so I'm going to probably just hop on the 161 and go to uh, Metro Plamondon. Plamondon Metro Station. And it's funny because sometimes I'll just like, I'll sit at that station right outside, you know, and... Uh, uh, it's such a busy uh, intersection, you know, at the corner of Victoria Van Horn, and, and it's just, it's like, it's literally the melting pot of Montreal, it's one of these areas, it's just incredible, black and Chinese and Korean and Arabic and Latino, you name it, man, and it's like, sometimes we're just sitting there as a white guy and I'm thinking, holy shit, man, like, where the hell am I, fuck, you know, like, this is Montreal, unbelievable, it's been like that for a long time, you know. Code Neige for you because that's the Code Neige borough which is next to here. Again, here we're in the Hampstead district, and this is just a uh, you know a lot of white people still. There's lots of Jews, there's uh, some uh, Muslims, and uh... oh boy, that dog is hungry. Yeah, and uh, me, I'm uh, taking it slow, taking it slow now. You see my reflection? Yeah, that's me. Yeah, yeah. Ugh. Too black for my taste, eh? Too much black there. No contrast, as somebody once told me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These apparently are not very good Jeeps right here, these Liberties. No wonder, too, because you don't see too many of them on the road. Yeah, they were not too good. No good on the gas, either. And I think even if it's a diesel and it's better on fuel, the diesels are probably fucking shit motors anyway. You know, it's Chrysler. I mean, I like Chrysler products. I love their designs. A lot of them uh, compared to a lot of companies, but let's be honest, they're just they're just not very good vehicles. Now, here's a vehicle I like. That is a true GM car. That I like. Pontiac Grand Prix. Nice color. Good way to end my video, too. Look at that. I like that. Hmm. Oh, 
Oh, there's some cat meowing like crazy. Why? Oh, why is that kitty meowing so much? Oh, look at that kitty cat. Poor kitty cat in the rain. Where's mommy and daddy? Oh, look, he's coming to see me. <laughs> Hi, kitty cat. Where's mommy and daddy? Oh. Hi, pussy cat. Oh, what a nice kitty cat. Oh, wow, you're really affectionate. <laughs> Poor kitty cat in the rain. Bye bye. Well, I had to stop <laughs> recording there for a second because I wanted to include that kitty cat for my compilation of Montreal kitties that I'm going to upload soon. There's another good way to finish. Not the fucking stupid scrap buses here, but this good old Chevy or GMC Safari. Ah, uh, yes. Anyway, that's it, man. Uh, we we'll finish here at uh, La Rue Van Horn, Van Horn Street there. And, uh,. On this crummy fucking Tuesday evening. And I hope you're all well and wish you all a very nice day or evening. And uh, what the fuck is that noise? Holy Christ, is that a motorcycle? Oh, daddy. Might as well take a look here and take a peek, see if there's anything interesting parked there. Yeah, it sounds like a car from 90, bro. Oh my god. All right, guys, take it easy. Adios. Bye bye. Sayonara.